But what's up everybody, this is Softy. Um, I've been meaning to make a longer video about paying those safe jumps for a while. Heavy editing, but I uh, ran out of creative juices, so I'm going to try to do a one-take little quick video real quick. Um, famo has got a bunch of safe jumps. The, the crux of it is that when she does fly, three jump light kick, this is a about a 26 frame total frame cycle, um, and the overhead happens very... The overhead happens very soon after she... After she, right before she lands. So I'll show you in, in Dream Advance. Okay, I'm flying. I'm gonna hold down forward, use the buffer on flight to hit light kick. And then you'll see. So the hitbox comes out the frame, two frames before she lands, which effectively gives you, with trip guard, about a four frame leniency on reversals by itself. So if you can time it for that first or second active hitbox of jump light kick you interact with the opponent, um, it's very easy to hit some safe jumps. The two setups I like to show right now uh, slot in almost perfectly with, with her normal routing. The two I use the most are just this, that gives me plus, that gives me 21 frames of frame advantage. And this, which gives you 24 to 25, depending on if you fast fall, the, the, if you slow fall at the medium kick. I say slow fall because normally you would fast fall to get more frame advantage. If you hit, if you hit hard kick after jump medium kick, you actually land a frame later, which makes it a little easier. The ideal frame advantage you want for the safe jumps is around 23 to 24. Um, you can give yourself some leniency on the execution. Technically, if you're plus 24 and you do fly jump light kick frame perfect, it will still combo. Um, which is why, like, I get give myself a one frame for like, you know, a little bit less perfect angles, a little less perfect, perfect inputs, and that's why also why I do, do this low fall. Um, if you are plus twenty one, you can effectively safe jump anything that is about about eight frames effective active startup, which is arm dynamo with like a big big apostrophe on it. Uh, a lot of DPs, stuff like that. But it is kind of hard, you have to be very tight. Um, and if you'd hit the... If you hit this and you're plus, plus 24, plus 25, you can safe jump things that are like four frames, five frames. So a lot of fast supers, like uh, the reversal level threes, um, cat scratch fever, some jabs, stuff like that. You know, they don't really want to safe jump jabs because you'll just block the jab and it's that turn. Um, you can also safe jump EKG that way. So I'll show you an action. Hopefully I can get it on the first couple of tries. My pain was a little rusty, so I've been playing Peacock mostly. Um, but let's do it. Let's start with a jumping arm. And the tricky part of this is that you do have to land and then fly immediately and then down forward, down forward. So you make sure you can catch up backs and then switch to switch to back really quickly. So if I hit it, set up reversal, he should be doing arm. And let's see. So I'll show you this one. It's hard. Okay, there we go. This is what I was worried about. Not getting it first try. You see? Okay, so I held back there for easy for, to make it easier. And you can see it did safe jump. You got the little. Uh... Oops. See, uh, it had uh, Beowulf had a little, little spark that said he uh, do he dodged up the instability. Wow, I'm trying to talk and play at the same time. It's not easy. You see, that the, so it, if you time, if you do perfectly, which is actually not that hard, it just takes a little bit of execution practice because you're just kind of doing things like you normally would. You will dodge the invincibility on the wake up move. Will dodge the overhead, but you'll land in time to not get trip guarded by the reversal because you have that four frame window from like active, active, land, land, you can block to allow you to block. Um, that can get a little messed up with some hit stop action. Um, Dynamo is the a good example. It has two extra frames of hit stop, even though it still hits effectively the same speed as arm, it can be two frames tighter to safe jump. You can do it, um, you get a little bit more advantage on this if you if you manually hit the button after flight, see if I can get it. So if you do the buffer, plus 21, but if you like delay it, 
quite a bit, you can get to plus 22, or plus 23. It's, um, it's not worth going for, just use the buffer setup. So I'll show you, um, safe jumping pillar, or safe jumping, let's see, I have it set to... This should be up to you for failure. Yeah, that has ever L up to you. Oh, I just swiped it. I didn't, okay. This should be doing L up to you, so I'm gonna do this with the, the... Light jump, the jump light punch light set up, see? It actually completely whipped. Let's see if I can, uh... Actually hit the setup. It's a lot of inputs all at once. But you see, even this is good enough, but like... There. So, if you hit down or down forward, you can still catch uh, up backs like that. And I blocked the fast DP. That TV hits effectively on frame 9. Um, the startup will say 8 frames for the move. It hits effectively on frame 9, which is the, the, the important number. Um, and there's no hits up on it, so it's much easier to not get trip guard on your reversal. Um, on these punishes, like her stations are very good because you get so much, you get a lot of damage on the counter hit, obviously. But these reset points are just part of her BNB. You almost every payload combo does this. Almost every payload combo does that. Almost every payload combo, the awesome payload combo does this. That's just her normal starting string. And you can also get that 21 frames advantage here by doing by doing uh, let's see, it's six light kick, and then you can hit medium kick to fast fall for plus 21 frames. So if for some reason your opponent has like thinks you're telegraphing the overhead by doing the jump light punch, jump light kick after viewer, because technically in like the hyper optimals she never does that. You can just do that fast fall and like do it early and you still have the, still have the advantage. Um, and let me show you how to, how to catch up back with it. This one, I'm good. It's gonna take me a few tries because uh, this is hard. I put it on squiggly because she's the thinnest and her up back, up back is annoying. So she should jump on reversal, yeah. So yeah, I I put her into pre-block there for some. She had she was forced. If you do it properly, you it because it quote unquote medias them. It can it makes them block during those four frames of jump squat, um, even on the up back, and it catches them. And then you get your high, you get your low option afterwards because they're all holding up back. More more like more than likely, oops, more than likely they are. If I can actually hit it. They're holding up back still, because that's like a not... Again, it's they have to switch blocks in... But the... With, it, it makes contact, it has like a couple frames of hit stops. So like, you have like a 10 frame window to react. And most people's defenses aren't... They're not holding down back and like, flicking up. Unless they play on hitbox. And even then, Paymill has ways to route around that. Um, so I hope... I just wanted to make a short video on the safe jumps, because... I've made a small one in the past, but it didn't really explain anything. Um, and I don't have like the... I don't have, I have the time on my plate right now to to fully make a like a detailed, fully edited video. So I decided to talk over my over some training mode stuff. But um yeah, feel free to like ask questions in the comments. Quick overview again: the two setups are they both off viewer or one's off viewer. You'd like punch, light kick, or the fast fall version to be plus twenty one, which safe jumps eight frames and. Slower, like with apostrophes and quotation marks, because hit stop can hit stop on reversals can change things. Um, the jump medium kick setup is let's just say jump like EKG and cat scratch fever quite consistently, um, and which is crazy. And you can get let's see, there is one more setup. Let's see if I can ad lib it. Not you. Hold it. That I don't do very much because this one is actually like it's not an unreactable overhead. Basically, there are. There are, um, like you can do safe jumps with less of the gaps, but they tend to um, be a little bit more seeable. What's wrong one? Let's get under, okay. So she should do reversal Fenrir, which hits on frame four. Um, it's the fastest non-SSJ reversal in the game. It's hard to deal with, um, and if you hit, the route, let's see. 
I'm gonna turn her off crouching so I can just do it off L nail. Let's see. The setup is like this. Like that. Yeah, so the setup is like that. You see how I, the, the frame counter said I was still plus two after I hit the overhead? Um, that means I had, you know, I just just barely frame perfectly uh, hit hit the jump like hit, jump hard kick overhead with the proper frame advantage to save jump defender. Um, yeah, that's Paymill's um, some Paymill save jumps. She, I think she really needs to be leveraging these as the meta gets you know progresses further and further because if Paymill ever has to like abort her offensive game, she's kind of a, like bad character. You know, you can only you can only fly around for so long. But when she's in, she's fucking insane. And the fact that she has very ready, easy, universal safe jumps for everything that's not SSJ or, or 360s is, like, insane. Um, her lows aren't the best, but you, you can do things. You can do, like... You can do, like, this to, like, you know... That's such a... If you do the safe jump, and you mix the safe jumps in with push block baits and her good low high game, you can be a very, very threatening character. All right, but yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, so this ended up being longer than I thought it would. I'm gonna upload it anyway, but maybe I'll condense it down into like a five minute video some other time. But yeah, the whole editing process is a little too, uh, too time intensive sometimes. So yeah, hope you all uh, learned something from it. I know some people were like, I've talked in a lot of discords about the safe jumps and like put text form, but sometimes it's not as easy to parse. But the setups aren't hard. They are not like telegraph besides that L nail jump like jump beat and punch up hard punch setup, uh, which you don't really need to do anyway. They're not telegraph, they're fast, they are just not under it's it's a quasi unreactable overhead, you know, it hits on frame or jump like it hits frame twenty-one, so it's if they're really staring at it, they can probably react to it, but that's only if they're like only looking for the overhead. Um and you also the threat of just her other reset games are always is always there. The fact that at any moment there's a two two parts or three parts up to three different parts of the payment combo that could just be an unreactable safe jump overhead like so you can't mash on her is so strong um so if she can condition you enough to mash it makes her her low game or low throw game even better because she has such high reward off throws compared to most of the cast oh uh, yeah it, it i think it's it's very important for like 2020 2022 pay meal to, to be doing the safe jumps yeah uh, thanks you guys for watching. Uh, have a have a good one.